Today I'm going to review, I'm going to show you this really handy little device. If you fly any kind of electric, you can't be without one of these. It's a watt meter and a battery condition indicator and a balancer. Now, I don't often use the balance function, but it's really, really clever. Look at this. Now, I've got a LiPo here. I've been using it in my jetpack. I don't know how much charge is left in it. So how can I tell? Well, I could plug it into my charger. It would give me a voltage and I could just charge it and see how much it took, but then I'd have a fully charged battery. I might not want that. I might just want to see if there's enough left in this for another flight. So what I do is I plug it into this, plug the balance port into this little thing here, and this then beeps. Now you can see it's got a number of different battery types here, um, LiFi, LiPo, uh, li Lithium Ion, and I'll just press the select key. And now it gives me the option of checking the battery or balancing the battery. Now I just want to see how much is left in this battery. So I'll press that again and it tells me it's beeping because the battery is unbalanced. But it does tell me I've got 64% of my battery capacity remaining. Well, about 64%. If I press it again, it shows me the individual cell voltages. Now that's really cool because now I can... Let's get rid of that noise for a start. Now I can decide whether I'm going to fly this battery again or whether I'm going to recharge it. It's quick and simple, you can do it at the field. Um, that's just one of the features. You can do that with your lithium ion and your uh, LiFe PO4 or your A123 batteries as well. But the real value of a device like this is when it comes to measuring the power your motor is drawing, the current and the power that's going into your electrical system on your electric model because that can tell you really, really important stuff. Now to show you how the power function works on this little meter, I've got my jetpack on the table here and this is a real power hungry piece of equipment. It's got two 70 millimeter EDFs on it and two 45 amp speed controllers. So it sucks a lot of juice. So what you've got to do, of course, when you're setting up any electrical model, or electric powered models, make sure that you're not overloading your speed controllers or your motors. And to do that, you need to measure the current or the wattage that's going into them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, my battery that I had before. I'm going to connect it up and we're going to measure the amount of power that's going into the motors. Now do that by connecting up this little lead here, which is the input lead. It plugs into the side of the meter here. That's to the power source. It says on the box to the power source. So I plug that in. That will enable me to plug it into the battery, normally into the battery, but I've got some gyros and things in here. We can ignore the effect of those gyros for the time being. I'll just put my battery in here, which is where it goes. And I shall plug it in, like so. Now that's just going to power up the gyros and things. Not going to power up the motors yet. I'm going to turn this around and show you what I'm doing when I hook up the motors. Right. Here is the lead that goes off to the ESC. That will go into the other side of the power meter. These Dean's connectors can sometimes be a real pain to connect if the little wire little springy bit has got a bit bent but there we go now we have that plugged into there and now what i need to do of course is plug it into the battery which lives over here very convoluted wiring in this jetpack but never mind got my speed controllers to zero right now these should beep right now i'll zoom in on this so you can see what i'm doing here we go. Now you can see I'm going to choose the watt function this time. So I just use the, the um, what is it, the select button to move to watt. Here we go, and I press enter. Right, what this is showing us is the it's showing us it's in watt mode, and we're drawing 0.1 of an amp. That's because the motors aren't turning. It's just the, the standby draw of the ESCs, um, it's, which is a total of 1.5 watts because we have 15 volts. So 15 volts times 0.1 is 1.5 watts. Now, you watch the meter. See what happens when we start to crank open the throttles. I have to make sure I don't take off when I do this, so bear with me. Now, at the moment, we're drawing 3.4 amps. We're still at 15.34 volts, and that's a total of 52.1 watts that the fans are sucking at the moment. And as I raise the throttle, you'll see those figures change. So you can see obviously that this is telling you constantly 
what the important figures are. How many amps are being drawn from your battery? And if we just had one motor, we'd know how many amps were going through the speed controller because that would be the same number. So if you're running a 45 amp speed controller and when you give full throttle, you're getting more than 45 amps on this display or even near 45 amps, then you've really got to reconsider how you've set your system up. Maybe use a smaller prop, maybe use a different speed controller. So that's how this works. And it works really well. I'm quite impressed because I got this from RC Timer, $27, including shipping. That's not bad. That scores a tick in my book. Just unplug it so we don't accidentally have jetpack liftoff. So there it is. The little uh, battery balancer watt meter from RC Timer. Nice little product. Good value. You've got to have one or something like it if you're flying electric. Otherwise, you're flying blind. You can't tell what you're doing. You may blow up speed controllers. You may overamp your batteries. You can cook motors. So you need one of these. I'll be doing a series of videos showing you how to use this to properly tune your electrical system on your RC model. Don't miss it. Subscribe. See you next time.